Hey everybody, here's a look at the Corpus Christi Lithium Refinery Plant. Well, hey everybody, I'm back out at the Tesla Corpus Christi Lithium Plant. You can see right behind me, and again, there is a lot of uh, development that has happened since my last video and I did back in October. And uh, as you uh, drive in on the frontage road, this uh, short clip gives you a kind of an idea what it looks like from the ground level as you arrive and pass by the uh, plant itself. But of course, the drone is the best way to see all that is going on. So we'll get into the drone and we'll fly around and we're going to see a lot of uh, interesting details. Now for today's flight, in addition to getting us some nice shots such as this, at the pyrometallurgical processing portion of the facility, which is where they use the uh, rotating kiln and cooler to turn the spodumene concentrate six from beta to alpha format. We also get this shot or these couple of shots of the hydrometallurgical processing part of the plant. And this is where they use a lot of aqueous mixtures and some of that non-caustic uh, solutions and chemicals to refine that spodumene concentrate six alpha into eventually lithium hydroxide. And then with this image here, we can see the formation of that final processing portion of the facility. Also a loading ramp is present now. And of course, this is where they package up all of that lithium hydroxide and then ship it off. And of course, where is it shipped to? It goes up to Giga Texas to the cathode plant. And then it is further refined using a number of processes to ultimately come up with the cathode material for the 4680. Now, a couple other things that I will show you here in the intro of interest is the raw materials processing facility looks like it is almost completed now. And uh, it also has those conveyor belt systems on the side that takes that raw spodumene concentrate six and then puts it up into that pyrometallurgical processing part of the facility. Now, a couple of things that I did not see is the rail spur, and that is gonna be necessary to tie off on this railroad that we see here that runs along the frontage road and then it will go into the plant up to that uh, raw materials processing facility and that's where they will unload all of that spodumene concentrate that comes in either by truck or most likely from the port of corpus christi which is not very far away from here and a couple other things that i did notice is there is another clearing that is happening far to the north of the facility. Not exactly sure what that is, but this is a great view of that. And in addition, there another clearing that is happening sort of in the middle part of the plant itself. And of course that is new. So anyway, a lot more to talk about in the video itself. Hopefully this uh, intro gives you a good primer of what we're going to see. And again, it's exciting to see what's going on here with the lithium plant that Tesla is building uh, just very close to Corpus Christi, Texas. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Let's get the drone in the air and let's take a look at the site today. If you would like to support my efforts, please consider using these links, which will be in the video description. If you are interested in Tesla products, you can help yourself and support me by using my referral code. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on my YouTube video as this helps as well. Thank you. What a beautiful day to fly here at the lithium plant down near Corpus Christi. As many of you know, Tesla has been building this facility for quite some time. The groundbreaking was last May 2023, and since then they've done a lot of work with the uh, land clearing, preparation for the construction, and expanding the area around the site for this uh, construction. And in addition to that, they've been uh, uh, really working on the main plant itself. And that's what you can see in the upper center of the screen. 
As I fly around at a little bit farther distance, I wanted to give you a good view of the overall uh, plot of land and the sections that they are using for the construction of the lithium plant. You can tell that there is a large clearing here on this side of the site and then of course a material staging yard and right in front of the raw materials facility that's that very large white structure and the rest of the plant is in the upper right hand side of the screen as i continue to fly to the north we can see that there are some additional spots that have um, some clearing there's one here in the middle center left of the screen kind of uh, juts away from this road. This road heads off to the north and we can also see the power lines. This goes up to the new electrical switch yard or substation that you can see in the upper left and that is what is providing power to the site. In addition to all of this, we see this clearing coming into view at the center of the screen. This is also new and I'm not sure if this is for construction or if it's being used to source some dirt or maybe uh, some other purpose, but I did not remember seeing this on my previous flight in October, so I thought I would point it out. Now, as I pan the drone back uh, towards the uh, west and take a look at this long road with the power lines that I mentioned earlier, just give you a view of the rest of the land that uh, Tesla owns here that is not being developed, at least not at this point in time. Of course, most of the effort is right in the middle part of the screen coming into view for the uh, main plant itself. And as we get closer, I'll give you some additional information about what is going on there. But another view of that clearing off to the bottom right of uh, this part of the site and uh, if you happen to know what it is, please let me know But uh, you know, you can see some dirt roads that head up to this section and then it also goes off to the long road on the upper part of the screen. Now these water basins, um, I've mentioned before, but this is not part of the lithium processing. These are not brine tanks. I've had some viewers ask me about that. Uh, these are actually just uh, water tanks that are used for the site. And since there isn't really any water service out here, this is uh, used to help uh, support the entire facility. And also is a rainwater or a water groundwater management system as well. And you can kind of see in the middle of the screen kind of a, a channel that connects these ponds on the right all the way over to the left. And as we come down in lower, and get a good view of that channel. Also, many of the vehicles that are stored here or at least parked here for the workers. And you can tell that there are a lot of people at work here at the plant. As I continue to fly lower towards the center part of the screen, just point out a few things. On the left is a group of trailers. That was the very first part of the site that was uh, uh, put together shortly after the groundbreaking and we see that Quonset hut kind of a material staging uh, tent in the upper left. As I zoom in here this is another clearing that I noticed that was underway today and uh, this is a good close-in view of what is going on. Some of the white material I think is lime and it's being mixed in with the clay soil to sort of strengthen it and change it chemically and that would be useful for construction sometime in the near future. So we'll be watching this on my next time I get through here to see what they are constructing. Now there's this material staging yard, two more of those Quonset uh, hut kind of structures in the bottom of the screen, some additional trailers, and it looks like there's some fuel tanks here, and a nice look at those power lines going into that raw material facility. Now I'm gonna to continue to fly uh, this lower altitude back towards that raw materials facility, get closer in, take a look at the material staging yard that is on this side of the site. As we pass that raw material staging yard, I'll turn back and show you some of the work on the ground here, some of the materials being stored, 
and uh, this is part of the site that will be built out later on and this is a close-in view of this conveyor system this is what is used to take the raw materials the spodumene concentrate and maneuver it over into the beginning of the plant and this is the pyrometallurgical processing part of the plant and with that tower you can see that kind of that almost rusty looking like large tube that's a rotating kiln and then underneath it with those jacketed uh, uh, white uh, clamps around it is the rotating cooler and that does the processing to get it ready for the hydrometallurgical process which is in the middle here with all of these tanks you can see some cooler units or chiller units on the top of that uh, structure in the middle additional tanks more of the conveyor system this uses a lot of that aqueous mixture and uh, uh, some of the uh, non-toxic chemical processes to take that spodumene concentrate and eventually make lithium hydroxide and this is a pretty intensive part of the plant and you can tell by how large that portion is now at the base or the bottom of the uh, uh, hydrometallurgical processing is this structure with that uh, kind of low roof that you see in the middle of the screen that is the final processing and packaging section and that will be uh, put into large bags the lithium hydroxide and then you can see the receiving ramp those will be loaded on vehicles and then head north towards Giga Texas this is a really great view of this uh, part of the plant now this is only half of the plant on the clearing that you see off to the right they will duplicate this and then there will be two parallel processing parts once it is completed now from what i understand is that tesla does want to get at least this part of the plant up and running as soon as possible uh, i think it's been delayed for a variety of reasons one of which has to do with the lithium cost around the world and some of the changes with the battery um, demand that we've seen within a lot of the automotive manufacturers uh, but they are still pressing forward with this plant and hopefully in 2025 we'll start seeing at least this part of the plant operational as i continue to maneuver on this south side taking a look at all of the structures and the tanks some of the uh, pipe systems and manifolds uh, we can also get a good view and a sense of scale with the workers on the ground this is a very large and very tall facility and it is continuing to be um, assembled with more of the materials on the ground that you can see and of course with all of the cranes that indicates they still have quite a bit of assembly to go and a nice view of some of the tanks up onto the structure and of course this uh, a part of the pyrometallurgical process with the rotating cooler on the bottom with those white jacketed uh, clamps and then the rotating uh, kiln on the top that kind of uh, looks like rusty like a pipe and of course the feed system on the large tower and then you can see that conveyor system that brings that spodumene up to begin that processing it's a very nice view of the raw materials facility itself this large white building eventually there will be a railhead that will come in through this section and then they'll be able to offload it and move it into that uh, uh, facility for initial processing as i continue to fly along this side uh, of the site a nice zoom in view of the entire plant as it sits today and as I zoom out, a nice overall view of the site and what it looks like from this vantage point. On the bottom of the screen is that material staging yard that I had talked about. This will give you another view of some of the materials and items that are stored here. And uh, it's relation to that raw materials processing facility. Now I wanted to do something different than what I've done on the previous videos. I'm going to bring the drone to a higher altitude and I'm going to give you a bird's eye view looking down onto the at least the first half of the plant and give you a nice look at the current stage of construction, what it looks like, and also gives you a better sense of just the scale and the length of this part of the facility. So as we get down to this part of the plant, I'm gonna turn the drone around and I'll give you a, another perspective looking along the length of the uh, plant back towards the raw materials uh, facility. 
and also the uh, packaging part of the uh, overall plant at the bottom center of the screen. bring the drone down and pull away. This is a nice view of this material staging yard plus some of the manifold system and pipes on the bottom left and another nice look at some of the workshops, some of the trailers and other materials that have been stored in this location. Now there are still some what looks like transformers uh, on the bottom of the screen. Those uh, five gray items, those have been here for some time. I was expecting to see them moved in somewhere by now, but they are still waiting. As I zoom back in, I'll come over these trailers. This is that first part of the site that was built out uh, after the groundbreaking. The groundbreaking itself took place right in front of this archway that says Tesla Lithium. It looks to me like they've kind of reconfigured this area with some AstroTurf and some umbrellas as kind of a uh, eating location, maybe a place to uh, just meet with uh, more of the workers. So pretty nice. And as I pull away, a great view of where that archway is in relation to the factory that continues to be built out. And from this point of view, it's really easy to see that uh, parallel structure that the factory will have once it is completed, that large center section in the middle waiting for that construction to begin. And because it's kind of a lighter gray material looking color, that seems to mean that the, uh, the uh, lime that has been mixed through the, uh, the soil to make it prepared for construction has been done in that location. So that is really great to see. So as I pull away farther to the north, this will bring uh, us to the end of this uh, video and uh, just an overall view of what it looked like today. I hope you enjoyed what we were able to see and talk about and just the status of the plant.